gentlemen, Lobo Style, you got it right here live. Majoni Days 2023. If you could please remain standing for opening prayer. Vice President Navajo. I'm originally from Gallo, New Mexico. I'm a survivor of sex trafficking of 13 years. I advocate for missing and murdered indigenous communities and I represent Gallo. I representing Pita Redhair. She was been missing for three years from Albuquerque. Right now when we pray for those that are out there that are still suffering from trauma, that are suffering from abuse, we have the highest leading right here in New Mexico. Unfortunately, I am one of them still suffering from anxiety and tremors and anxiety attacks. A lot of our indigenous communities, we need to stand up for our people out there. The homelessness and the discrimination that has been found against us since the Columbus came here. And at the same time, we need to represent our women out there, which are sacred around us. I want to thank the Kiva Club for giving me a few minutes to speak. It's an honor for me to be with my relatives today. I want to thank Anita. Anita's mom could not be here, fortunately. But if you want to come up and take a picture of Pizza Red Hair, she's been missing three years. And we did a rally last week. And fortunately, our DA is not on our side. But if you have any concerns or if anything you would like to please contact the Albuquerque Police Department at 505-242-2677. Her mom and I are just been very broken hearted because she still wants to answers. She wants answers for her daughter. She wants answers from the police. She wants answers from the DA, the attorney's office and oh my it's been very difficult doing these rallies and speaking up for our missing murdered, but many people don't even know of how it began and why. But we don't want to be end up like one of us in the flyer as we see as our sister today. But I want to thank the Kiva Club for giving me an honor to speak right now. And as I continue to advocate for those here in Albuquerque, for the homelessness, our indigenous that are still out there with drugs and alcohol, with addictions, it is possible. I've been clean, I've been clean of cocaine, I've been clean, no drugs and alcohol, I've been clean of nothing. A lot of people are not aware of a person could do that. And also educate our system, educate those that are don't, don't know aware of our indigenous communities and where we come from. But I thank you and it is possible. I am my healing and I thank all those that prayers that have Come to me and support my support system as well. Thank you. With that Kiva Club, Najoni Days, blessings that way. Preacher, preacher. <laughs> Right here, ladies and gentlemen, Eagle Staff Bear, Mr. Jared So, the Nick, University of New Mexico Masters of Fine Arts and Studio Arts, graduate student, ladies and gentlemen. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. Hastans <laughs> Ada 
Bake it by Hodzana, Dat Nasha, El Dorado High School, Inish Tat, Do Nis Nagi Inish Tat. Hello everyone, my name is Kaylee Bahi, I am 16 years old. I am Big Water, born from the Black Sheep Clan, and I come from a small community um, on the Navajo Nation from Pinon, Arizona. I'm currently attending El Dorado High School as a sophomore here in so called Albuquerque. It is, it, is, it is in this way that I am Dene youth. We're gathered here today at Nijoni Days Powwow on UNM campus on occupied Tiwa, Sandia, and Isleta Pueblo territories in commemoration and honor of Larry Casus, a very powerful fighter, abolitionist, and organizer for indigenous liberation and then indigenous struggle. So I thank so much to our indigenous friends and relatives for organizing this um, a free event and much thanks for the events hosted by Kiva Club as well. As an indigenous youth, I'd like to formally acknowledge that we are on stolen land of the Sandia Pueblo peoples taken through violent conquest, Spanish and government settlements, ethnic cleansing and forced dispossession. And most importantly, that we are on indigenous land. At the root of Albuquerque and the cities of New Mexico, we are always on indigenous land. At recreational national parks, we are in, on indigenous land. At famous restaurants and fancy neighborhoods, we are on indigenous lands in which the neighborhoods gentrify and push out our black and brown relatives. And we are indigenous land. While the native people of New Mexico make up 11% of the state's population and 5.1% of students here at APS, as indigenous students here in so-called Albuquerque, it is rare or unacknowledged whose traditional territory we're on and occupying and benefit from in which this contributes to indigenous erasure as we are the original stewards of this territory. Nonetheless, as indigenous youth, we have a stance in this system. We're in the classrooms, we're given the assignments, and we listen to the conversations. Therefore, we must see past this colonized lens and fight against the oppressive systems and liabilities of settler colonialism for our future youth, elders, and relatives of Nehema Nahastan. Because without indigenous resistance, recognition of our traditional homelands, or decolonization, we choose extinction. So please contribute and support our indigenous relatives. If you're an APS student, talk to your history department about lessons and material review. Ask your teachers how much consideration they put into history lessons about indigenous people. And learn about how to use your privileges and power within the system. And stick up for your native classmates. Thank you all very much, my friends, relatives, and families, and take care. University of New Mexico
Ultimate Champion, Men's Golden Age and Ladies Golden Age. Thank you. your hands together ladies and gentlemen right there live thank you holy glitch oh,
right there. Nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Brothers in the house. Way to rock to the arena. Each and gentlemen, one of you. Can... Made it.